week nine of the NFL. And we'll be watching the dynamic Tyreek Hill. Big plays follow him around. He comes in second to the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Dolphins and the Bills coming up next. We are 20 minutes south of downtown Buffalo. It is Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park, New York. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, it's that time of year. A little bit more urgency. The calendar page turns to November. We kind of know who the good teams are. The midpoint of the NFL season is a great time to take a step back and look ahead to what's down the road for us. Yeah, no doubt. And I always felt, you know, even as a player, that you never really knew how good you were as a team or how good everyone else around the league was until you kind of got to this point in the year. November, December football. That's really where teams separate themselves from the pack, and that's where playoff pictures start to unwrap. The kicker, Tyler Bass, has us ready to start. And off we go from Buffalo. Here comes a return from the five. And that's well done by the kicking team. He's only able to make it past the 15-yard line. The Dolphins come out on offense and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. I believe this is season five already from Alabama, Greg. Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. A lot of things jump off the tape when you watch last week, Mike, but it was really just the overall execution of the game plan that stuck out the most. I mean, not only did he get them in that end zone a handful of times, he protected the ball, and he routinely exploited the weaknesses that they found during the week on film. He's going to be looking to do the same thing over these next four quarters. If he's successful, they're going to have a shot to leave here with another win. Now the former Texas A&M Aggie, here's Devon H.A. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. Throwing on third down, Tunko Bailoa. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Hunt team comes out. Dolphins going to kick it away. Here's Hardy to return. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. So, out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen. You're seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. One thing that was pretty evident when we had a chance to talk to him, Mike, is this guy, he just wasn't satisfied with his individual performance. They came away with the win, and that was great. But one area that seems to continue to hold him back is that he's predetermining where he goes with the ball. Not only did it lead to the two interceptions, but it leads to some missed opportunities as the play unfolds. He could have had more touchdown output if he would have just gotten off that first read and found the open man. He got away with it last week. He doesn't want to make a habit of trying to get away with it every week. He needs to clean that up, especially if he wants to come away with a win here today. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Slot receiver headed right. On second down, here is Allen. Open man, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. That catch number 40 on the season for him. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. To throw again, it's Allen. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Slot man in motion right. On third down, it's Josh Allen. 
He's got the connection there to Valdez Scantling. And he will not make it to the end zone, but he's down inside the five-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. This opening drive going to form so far. Now they've got it first and goal. Allen going to throw again. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. The Dolphins offense and Tyreek Hill heading back on the field. And he's right there in contention for the most receiving yards by a wideout this year. Currently ranked second in the NFL. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They put Smythe in motion. They'll start on the ground. It's a chance. Now a flag comes in. It was thrown by the umpire. The pickup is four. But usually, that's a holding penalty. They get the guard, Isaiah Wynn, that time. In motion, it's Waddle. On the ground to start the drive, it's Achan. A gain of four as he's taken down. With that, let me give you a look at his numbers on the ground in last week's game. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll stay on the ground with HN. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. In motion, it's Waddle. Third and long. Here's Tua. That's made there by Waddle. He got a lot of what he needed, but just not enough. The mark is a couple of yards shy of the first down. Here comes fourth down. Here's Jake Bailey now. And on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. From the gun, Josh Allen. A short throw caught by Kincaid. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. And he's going to pick up the first down across midfield and down at the 49. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. They send him right out of the slot. Out of the gun, here's Allen. They go right back to Coleman. He's got it again. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. To the left side and hold in. Valdez Scantling. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. 
but the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. That's to the left side and taken in by Coleman. Now a third and two. Josh Allen on the bootleg. And this ball incomplete on third down. Keon Coleman, the intended receiver. And it's going to be fourth down. Tyler Bass on for the field goal. A 39 yard attempt. Bass's kick is good. And the Bills are out to an early 3 0 lead. I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides this drive kicks off with first and ten second and a yard from the gun here's Tua that's going to be incomplete and it'll leave just enough time for one final play in this opening quarter third and a yard. Off play action. It's Tua. He's going to look deep for Tyreek. And he is taken down. A big gain on that one. Great way for them to end this opening quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To the air again, Tungo Bailon. And he'll take it on in. Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown Dolphins. His sixth touchdown now for the season. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns. And then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this. And his receiver is able to take it in for six. The extra point by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins move out to a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. On the return, here's Khalil Shakir. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. He's building a case for the MVP. He is the leader in the NFL in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season. On first down, it's Allen. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. At the 34 yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. That pass caught right side, Valdez Scantling. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Allen, going to give it to Cook. And he'll take this up to the 48-yard line. Anthony Walker there to make the tackle. 
Here's a third down and four. Brings up third and four. Now Allen. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. When you look back last year and the Buffalo Bills went on their late season run to the playoffs, it really was getting the ball in the hands of James Cook. 44 catches last year in year two, more than double his rookie year. He's going to continue to be a big-time player alongside Josh Allen. On first and ten, it's Allen. Pass complete right side to Kincaid. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Here's Allen to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. One more time going up top with Allen. That one on target to Davis. He's got it. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Throwing again. It's Allen. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Brings up second and eight at the 32-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Allen. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Eight yards to go. Again, it's Allen to the air. That's to the left side where he's got Kincaid. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. They'll try and throw for it with Allen. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be, and they'll turn it over on downs. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. He'll get this to the former Falcon, Jonu Smith. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Now stoppage here for an injured player. That's Jalen Waddle, who's in some discomfort. Here's second and two. In motion comes Beckham. Play action. Tagovailoa. To the left side, OBJ is there. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. Two and now on third down. That's complete. And it is Beckham. He'll get out of bounds, a gain of eight, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Second and seven. A shotgun snap for two. 
to the left side in the hands of Hill. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Out of the gun, Tungle Vailoa. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. He really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And he'll get something there on the return, able to take this back to the 20-yard line. The Bills offense getting set to get back to work. Trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Valdez scantling on the move. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. He'll come to the line now on second and two. From the shotgun, it's Allen. A pass caught right side by Coleman. Line of scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. Ah, uh, nowhere to get away, and he's gonna go down. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen, how are they gonna protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes, there's no answer for it. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. On third down, they go with Cook. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. The Bills bringing on their punting unit. This brought in out past the 20. And he'll get a few yards back here on the return before being forced out of bounds. The Dolphins offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. The lead sits at four. So we'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Now Miami going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll come up now for second down and four. Hill brought in motion. They'll fake the handoff. Now, two up. Open man downfield, Tyreek Hill. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. The Dolphins going to use their final timeout here as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. They'll come up here first and 10. From the gun, here's Tua. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Off play action, it's Tua. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Throwing on third down, Tungo Bailoa. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, 
and will come out to the 20-yard line. So we've reached the intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, for Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And it's the Titans with the lead in the second quarter of play. Two touchdowns in that game for Tony Pollard. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Terry McLaurin, a touchdown catch from Jaden Daniels. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Houston Texans. C.J. Stroud, four touchdown passes in the victory. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Mike is going to play a big role in who wins this one. On the return, here comes Shakir. Yeah! And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a very solid return. The Bills offense and Josh Allen heading back onto the field. And as we move into the second half of the season, he continues to put up the big numbers currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November. The tight end Kincaid in motion. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. Valdez Scantling on the move. From the gun, Josh Allen. To the left side and pulled in. Valdez Scantling. Here's a second and 12. Second down at the 33 yard line. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That's going to be caught by Kincaid. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. In order for this play to be successful against man coverage, Mike, two things need to happen. One, the quarterback has to anticipate the break. He has to get that ball out on time. And then the rest is the receiver creating the separation at the top. And when both are accomplished, you can see what the results are. A run up the middle with Cook. And he'll get this to the 43-yard line. That's Bradley Chubb. They're on the stop. From the gun, it's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Valdez Scantling on the move. Has his man. It's Samuel. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Allen will throw. And he's in. Curtis Samuel. Touchdown, Buffalo. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big time connection for the touchdown.
Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Braxton Berrios now to bring it back. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Here's two. He's going to air this one out. Looking for Hill. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill there. And it'll bring up second down. Hill brought in motion. On play action, it's Tungvaloa. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. Fake the handoff. Now, two. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Jalen Waddle, the intended target. And that'll set up fourth down. Punk team headed out for the Dolphins. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. This fielded inside the 35. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. First and 10 now from the 36. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. To work forward to the 40-yard line, the veteran safety, Jamal Adams, there for the tackle. Here's second and six. They'll motion over Samuel. They go play action now. Here's Allen. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Right side, pulled in by Samuel. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. They'll motion over Samuel. On first down, it's Allen. A throw on the move is caught. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. To throw again, it's Allen. They'll set up the screen to Cook, and they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. First and ten. It's Cook. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. They'll motion over Samuel. They'll go play action here. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. But this is taken in by a teammate. Don't need much. It is third and inches. Here's Allen to throw. Samuel has it on the slant. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like and exploit it. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They gotta make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now a design run. It's Allen. And the Bills are gonna have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, 
Here's Cook. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really... That is caught by the tight end. Dalton Kincaid. Touchdown, Bill. So when you find yourself this tight to the goal line, Mike, that offense becomes a lot more restricted in as far as how deep you can throw the ball. The field is wider than it is long, and I think the idea here is let's spread them out. Let's put all of our eligibles out there and let the quarterback get a really good picture. Where are the holes in the coverage? Where are the one-on-one -on -one matchups that I like? And let's put this ball in the quarterback's hand, let him make a good decision, and in this case, it results in a touchdown. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Berrios on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense back onto the field for their next possession. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. Tua is going to give it to HN. Tough to bring down, and somehow he manages to get four yards out of that. Here's a second and six. A shotgun snap for Tua. That's over the middle, caught by Tyree. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Hill brought in motion. A play fit. Now, two at a throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. He's going to look deep for Tyreek. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They snap it to Tua. He's got his man. It's Hill. To the 20. And he will score. Game on. Tyreek Hill. Touchdown, Miami. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Bills offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been in control this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. First and 10. Slot receiver headed right. On first and ten, it's Allen. 
Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Javon Holland. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to you. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. The visitors' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll start with a golden opportunity here to move out in front. Great field position to start out. It's first and ten. That's taken in left side by Smith. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Here we go. Burn and a yard. Out of the gun, Tungo Bailoa. That's into the hands of Smite, the tight end. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. What a moment in this game. A touchdown would give them the late lead. It is first down and goal. Here's HN. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Javon Achan. Touchdown, Dolphins. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? The extra point by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins move out in front by four. It's 21 to 17. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. To return, here's Daquan Hardy. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Bills offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. Here's first and 10. Now Allen. They'll look to set up the screen here. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. And they'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. Josh Allen on the bootleg. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. The Bills bringing on the punt team. They'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. And a fair catch is taken. It is just inside the 20-yard line. On first down, Tungo Bailoa. That's caught by Smith on the right side. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. This crowd into it now. 
as we get to third down. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get it to the 37-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Uh-oh. And drives some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, second and a yard. In motion, it's Waddle. Once again, it's a chance. And he's going to have the first down yardage across the 50 to the 48. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. A quick throw here, taken by Odell. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Here's a give to HN. And the defense there to meet up. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Hill brought in motion. He'll try and run it here. It's Achan. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Hill brought in motion. They'll run this one straight ahead with H. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. They need to get it to the 27. This is third down. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So, a win here for the visiting Dolphins. That is now six consecutive victories. They are making it look easy out there as they continue their winning ways. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.